at Tel Tigo. Life is simple. Taking you straight to Nigeria and then speak to Late, uh, Adulthood Not Scam Head Maker. Hello, good evening, Late. Hi, good evening. How you doing, girl? I'm fine, thank you. How you doing? I'm more. I did do fine for Ghana. Happy Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria, they're all right, too. Thank God. Nigeria, what? Enjoyment? We enjoy now. We flex. You <laughs> enjoy now. You flex for Nigeria. It'll be for you for that side. First off, help me with the correct pronunciation of uh, your name. Is it Laid or Lade? It's Lade. 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 Yeah. Oh, so that's the correct pronunciation of your name. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations on your big song, Adulthood Anthem. Thank you. Doing so well here in Thank Ghana. Was it intentional so to plug the song here in Ghana or it just found its way out here in Ghana? Man, I didn't think it was going to go this far, trust me. I did not even think about it. I was just doing my thing. But yeah, it just... How did it come about in the first place? I mean, uh, the concept and the thought of doing the song, I mean. How did it come about? Man, I, I, I think it's because of the stage I'm at right now in my life. But you're yeah. still young. Uh, Glad day, you're still young. You're a young girl. I know, but you know, I'm just a young person that has always been hot me. Ooh. You understand? So, you know, sometimes hustle makes you grow grow old very fast. I know, you right? You become an adult even when you, when, you, when, you, when you don't expect. Are you out of you home already or are you still with your parents? Yes, um, I don't stay with my parents anymore. Oh, you moved out of home? I had to, man. Why is that? What informed your decision to move home, out of home? It's music, music. You know, there are some kind of people you are supposed to surround yourself with when you want to achieve something you understand my parents are supportive but i just need the right mind to come together so i can be able to do this the way it's supposed to be but you're doing amazing out there already i mean working with brands Thank like so etel tigo in fact uh, for those in nigeria you came into the spotlights i mean the lamb light with that etel tigo 444 uh, advert, yeah, uh, yeah, that commercial. Uh, I mean, put you out there, uh, in Nigeria, but for us here in Ghana, it is adulthood not scam. You are associated with brands like uh, Airtel, uh, brands like Maggie Techno. How does it feel? How did you work this yeah. out? Uh, is it through hard work or it's through your connections? Man, it's not really connections because I, I don't like know so many people in the industry. So it was just, uh, um, those opportunities met me while I was, you know, hustling, basically. You understand? Wow. How does it yeah. feel working with all these big brands? Man, it's amazing. You know, growing up to know most of these brands and then working with them, virtually doing something is a big deal for me, man. I feel really good. Indeed, it is a big deal. Are you out of school? Or yeah. you, you're still in school? Are you done with school now? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not done, actually. I had to pause to focus oh, you on deferred? music for now. You yes, deferred your yes, course to, to, focus to focus on music? Focus on music. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, I was going to ask how you're able to juggle between school and it's not music. Easy. I tried. But at the point where I saw it was going to... It was not going to be easy, rather. I had to, you know, take the one that means a lot to me the most for now. After recording Adulthood Nascam, I mean Adulthood Anthem. Yeah. After listening to the song in the studio, mm -hmm. how did you feel about it? Did you feel I, 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 it was it was going to cross the borders and put you I out, did not out know there? It was going to cross. I did not know it was going to cross. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear very loud and clear. Can you yeah. hear me? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. And so uh, back to the question, how you felt after making adulthood and then, uh, did you did you anticipate uh, it was going to be this big? Hello? Hello? Lade? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, after recording Adulthood yeah. Anthem, did you anticipate it was going to be this huge? Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hi, good evening. What's happening? Hello? Nobody go ask if you don't chop. Nobody go send you free money. If you not get now, you sabi. Adulthood Naska. Uh, we'll try and get back to... I heard that you Lade. for Lade. Straight from Nigeria, the adult who now scam hit maker right there. Now what you let me believe, now what you let me believe. You're rocking with the best. Drive time on Love 99.5 FM. Nobody don't need my phone, the best variety. DJ Ruben is riding the city hall. I'm not telling you to go, you need that strike. I'm not telling you to go, you need that strike. I'm not telling you to go, you need that strike. I beg you take me back to days when we say, I just to play and jump for. All right, let's get back and talk to Lade right there. Hello, Lade. Hello. Hello, Lade. Man, I, I I think it's because of the stage I'm at. Can you hear me? Hello. Now I can send the money, Lolo. Everything where I want, I must spell. More bell. I feel to give anything to me, go my child. That's a very terrible connectivity to Lade. Let's see how it goes again. Nobody go ask if you don't chop. Nobody go send you free money. If you not get now, you sabi. I don't want to ask. Uh, I heard that you're looking for love. Landlord don't call me. My body don't ring my phone. Say where that thing where you promise me. I know say you no go believe. Them no tell me say that's so you dey be. I beg you take me back to days when we say I just to play and jump. Get now, you sabi. You know, feel easy in your body. Oh. But if not, them need you, they go come to you, come, they give you different. Story, uh, story. Uh, this is super story. Oh. Though the story touch me, oh. but I know if send you money. Oh. If I say, make a calculate, what's in that they spend from Monday to Sunday? Sunday. They make me reminisce on those days. We pocket money, go yak for my pillowcase. Oh. Now I can send the money, Loleo. Everything where I want, I must pay. More bail. I feel to give anything to become a child. I don't Hi, hi. Can you hear me now? Very loud and clear now. 
Okay, so I was asking about uh, I was asking you uh, about how you felt after recording the song. Did you anticipate it was going to be this huge? Man, I did not even think it was going to be this huge. That song was just me doing my thing because I was doing covers on my social media, and it was not even a, a, a full song at first. It was just a, a one minute song that I wanted to put on um, TikTok and on Instagram to get engagement. But when I recorded um, the one minute version, I played it to my kids, and they were like, "This is a hit song. I have to go and finish it." So I went back to the studio, met up with the producer, and we finished the song. So from the moment we played the full song, I was like, damn, this is a hit song. I don't know how I was going to go about it. I just knew I had a hit song in my head. Wow. Congratulations to uh, you on this one. Uh, the numbers Thank are amazing. You. The numbers Thank for this so one uh, are just amazing. And uh, we can only wish you all the best. When are you coming yeah. to Ghana? Man, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Yeah, you should come to Ghana. Ghana. Come, 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 come straight to the studio. Let's to, sit and have a conversation. Have, 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 have ever been course, to Ghana? I will. I will. Ever, have, have you ever been to Ghana? Never. I've never been to Ghana. Never? Oh, no. la day. Let's make this happen. Is it, is it happening this year? Very soon. Very, very, soon. very, very soon. Very soon is indefinite, though, but let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's, hope, let's hope it's this year. No, don't worry, don't worry. I can't, I, I, can't, I can't wait to have you here anyway. Of course, I can't wait to be in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what is it about Nigerians and uh, you, uh, uh, I mean, trying to get your songs here, penetrate the, uh, into the Ghanaian market? What is it about Ghana that uh, you guys, uh, I mean, try to, I mean, push to have your songs penetrate into our market? Man, I just feel like the love between Nigeria and Ghana is is, is very, very um, um, real. I would say that. So uh, um, we feel the need to, you know, share our songs with uh, um, people that love us. Because it's obvious that um, Ghana loves Nigeria and Nigeria loves Ghana as well. So why not? We, we definitely want to uh, um, let our songs penetrate to Ghana because of the love. And both countries share. Which Ghanaian artist? Which Ghanaian artist are you looking forward to working with? Uh, I think recent, like some weeks ago, I was able to speak with um, Giaki on a radio interview, and I think we have something coming. Soon. Oh, you you spoke to well, well, Jackie? Jackie. Oh, okay. And so yes, you guys are you guys you guys are cooking something. Yeah, we're going. We're definitely going to do something. Wow, beautiful. I, 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 I simply uh, cannot wait for that. Yeah. Uh, I just cannot wait for that. Uh, would like to say a big thank you to you for speaking to us uh, this evening, thank taking you. time of your busy schedule to speak to thank us. You uh, so much. Wrapping up thank our conversation, you so what would you thank like you to say to me. everybody in Ghana uh, listening to you right now? Yeah. So, what up, my people in Ghana? I want to say a big thank you to you guys for the love, for the support. It's super amazing. And I can't wait to, 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 to turn up with you guys. I'm coming soon. Oh, God, I'm coming soon. You better turn up Thank soon. Thank you so much. You better turn up soon. <laughs> we are having this conversation on radio. Uh, I would love for you to take a bite of it real quick, uh, just before you take leave of us. Who is the most important person at a wedding reception? Who is the most important person where? At a wedding reception. At the wedding reception. Yeah. Most important. Is it the caterer? Hmm. Is it the photographer? Is it the MC? You tell me. Hello. Yeah, you tell me. Who is the most important Hello? person at the wedding reception? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Is it a photographer? Is it the caterer? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so you tell me who the most important person is at a wedding reception. All right, no problem. Are you there? 
Oh, the line has gone bad again. I think we'd have to hold it there. If you don't get Let's now, get on the phone, 0322 and get talking. Now them need you, they go come. You tell me who the most important person is yeah. at a wedding reception. 0322 yeah. extension 8. Adanta Travels is taking us to Dubai. Oh, oh, oh.